G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and we're down the back in the quail pen. The final stage of our quail stock boosting is done. We've got them from the brooder into the quail pen, and that's what this video is about. That final stage, putting their leg rings on, and the reasons why I do that. So let's get into it. Well, if you've been following my videos over the past month, you'd know we hatched out some quail in a new incubator that I bought, a Barotto incubator, it's Italian made. I'm still gonna be working on a review for that, but I wanna check it out more first before I put my name to a review. But early signs are that Barotto is quite good. It's only a small incubator. That's all I need for our backyard operation. It's not like I'm trying to breed quail to sell or anything like that. We just breed quail for our own purposes. Before I released them into the pen here, I put a coloured leg ring on them, seven mil. So you don't want it any bigger than about seven mil is what I've found. Like bigger than seven mil and it can slip off their foot fairly easy. And smaller than seven mil, it's getting a little bit too tight for the larger size jumbo quail. So I reckon seven mils about a good size if you're going to put colored rings or leg rings on your birds. Now the reason why I do it isn't because I'm trying to get specific facts out of my flock. Mine's much simpler than that. I just wanna know pretty much how old the birds are so I can make a note of the colored leg ring on my computer and know that that bird was hatched out on a particular month in a particular year, and so that bird is how old? That's all I'm really interested in for my breeding stock. If I'm gonna breed them for meat, for example, we won't put a leg ring on them at all. We'll just separate that flock and breed them up to nine weeks as a maximum of 12 weeks, fatten them up and then use them. But for breeding stock, it's quite handy to know how old they are, especially if you're having any troubles with egg production or egg viability when you're breeding them up. Another thing you can use the coloured leg rings for with your breeding stock is to distinguish where they've come from. You might get in some eggs from somewhere else, which is a good idea to broaden out your flock and broaden those bloodlines so that they're not interbreeding. So if you do that, if you get some eggs from another breeder, you can hatch that batch out and then give them a specific colored leg ring so that you know that this is separate from your original flock. And that can be handy too, to know what bloodlines you have. Now you can get more in depth with quail breeding, of course. I'm at a really basic level. I'm not that interested in crossbreeding them or trying to make them bigger. So that's why my use of the leg rings is fairly basic and it does the purpose that I want. But I'll be interested if you guys are using the leg rings for other purposes, especially for breeding quail. Whack them down below and uh, let us know your thoughts. So how did the new quail go? Well, they've adapted really quickly. In the past, I've put a, an extra waterer in here with the feeders, just a dip the beak waterer because I was worried that the quail, the new quail may not understand how to use the nipple drinkers or nipple waterers. But this bunch, within about two hours, they had worked out how to use the nipple waterers and they're eating the feed. There's no fights, they're accepted easily with the other rest of the flock, but that's the key. The size of this pen really helps. It helps to stop males from fighting and it just helps territorial wise so that when you do introduce new quail into the pen, there really isn't any fighting or any uh, quarrels that could lead to harm. And when you keep them in smaller cages and they can't get away from each other, that's when quail can start pecking at each other and give really bad injuries and sometimes death because they can be quite furious fighters and their sharp little beaks can peck out eyes. But in a pen this size, I've never seen any bullying or any bullying that's led to problems. And that's about it. 
If you've got any questions or comments on boosting your quail stock or the use of leg rings, whack them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share the video around. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.